welcome Gemini to your November love reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Best message is coming out. Ooh, so let's see who's coming towards you, who's involved, what's going on with this other person in, around you, in your energy. Who is this person in their energy? Tell me about them, please, and what's their intentions. Ooh, I got the Ten of Cups. <laughs> their energy is the Ten of Cups coming out as Pisces energy. Could be definitely a Pisces also coming out as a high priestess. So it could definitely be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, some kind of water sign does not have to be, but it's definitely saying that they understand that the love that they are that's going on around them is definitely they feel is their divine purpose. They do feel that you are their divine soulmate, that this is the purpose. This is what I want. Um, this is, you know, we are connected divinely. Um, wow. So they do see you, you as their purpose in love and life. But it might feel like they're holding back or they may feel you are holding back from the situation. That, you know, they could see you holding back a little um, or they're holding back. So take that how it resonates. But there is a lot of victory and a lot of celebration when it comes to this love situation. It could be dealing with Sagittarius or a Leo. Uh, but they do feel that you guys could have the ultimate victory. You could have the white picket fence. You could have the children, the dog, you know, the big house, whatever, right? Um the love, the divine love, the harmony. They want everything. They, I think they want to, they want to marry you. Just saying. Six of wands, ten of cups, That they want to marry you. Um, there is some kind of transition, though, and it, it does feel like they, I, I feel like there's some kind of resistance. They see you resisting. They see you kind of, there's a lot of holding back. they see you holding back why why do they see you holding back what if I know why why do they see I'm holding back please why are they holding back they feel like there was some kind of a, a lack of accomplishment maybe they're holding back some kind of a lack of accomplishment somebody feels like this relationship is unfair They've been putting in a lot of action, a lot of willpower, a lot of everything to get this relationship back where it's supposed to be. So it does feel like they're either holding back or they see you holding back and see you trying to move on or the relationship is moving on. It's almost like they're trying to get it back to stable ground, steady ground. They want it to be, you know, super, they would just want it to be the most divine love. It's crazy. But... They see you as their soulmate. And they're waiting patiently. Could even be rings. They may even have a ring for you. They may be waiting for to give you this ring. Wanting to be married to you. But they feel like you're some kind of rejection. Some kind of aggressive behavior going on. Like they're not getting what they want. They're not... There's not enough patience within this situation. I feel like you're rejecting their... I feel like they're rejecting them, period. They're trying to bring it forward. They're trying to make progress, and they're trying to make a step forward, but they just feel like you're not going to. You're not going to allow this. Or they're waiting for you to step forward. Take it how it resonates. Um, they're either way, which way. They're waiting for the progress within this relationship, but they do see you as, you know, the person they want to marry, the person that they want to spend their life with, pick it tense, all that great stuff. Um, let's see how you're feeling about the situation. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, there is some ambitious over here. You're, you're feeling very ambitious about the situation. You're feeling like there is a little bit driven to go in what direction. You're ambitiously wanting to detach from this relationship. That's why they're seeing you leave. Yep, you are holding back. They do see you conflicted. They do see that you want out of this situation and that you're trying to move away from them. Um, yeah. So whatever they did, they were hoping that you, there would be a reconciliation within the situation that you, you know, 
but I don't, I see you moving on. I don't see you doing anything. There was a, yeah, there's a lot of self-doubt within this situation. You see this person as um, sneaky, could be very sneaky. There was something that was going on. You also could see them as winning at all costs. Um, there's just too much conflict within this situation. You feel like there's an inner struggle going on over here. They give you an inner struggle. But you also feel like the relationship in itself has just got too much conflict going on that they just cannot work itself out. Um, I think there was just too much disagreement. There's too many difficult dis decisions weighing down on this. And it looks like you are trying to avoid this person. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, but you do feel like there is some kind of withdrawal and loneliness um, when it came to this situation. I feel like you felt like this person kind of left you hanging for some of you kind of left you hanging high and dry over here um they distanced themselves so it's almost like oh well now you want to come back towards me but i'm going to distance myself from you so i feel like whatever was going on within this situation it's almost like whatever they did to you you now are kind of doing to them so for some of you it's almost like well you left me out in the cold um you know and left me high and dry um and now you want to come back to me but guess what now i'm going to take up my welcome mat and tell you I'm leaving you hanging, you know, hanging high and dry. So it's almost like you're going to, it's almost kind of like an eye for an eye type of situation, whether you realize it or not. Um, but it could just also be that, you know what, um, they didn't want to give me any attention. So screw you. I'm not going to give you any attention back. Now all of a sudden they want the attention and you're like, too bad for you. I'm not giving you any attention. Do you see what I'm saying? Now they want you to step forward and give them what you have been waiting for the whole time. That is really what it feels like, my friends. Okay. They were your nine of cups. They were. You were waiting for them. You were contemplating for them. You were waiting for them to return from whatever was going on within the situation. They have overwhelmed you by so many different choices. They may have cheated on you. They have been confused. They may have done whatever they were doing. But there was a lot of disagreements, a lot of, you know, things going on, a lot of tension within this relationship. And now all of a sudden you're saying, oh, okay. So you're not seeing that the grass is green over here. You're saying this grass is dead. You can come back to me and tell me I'm your divine partner, I'm your this, I'm your that, but you can say whatever you want because you're cutting your losses. You said, I'm done. Uh, you've thought about it. You've gone into hangman mode. You've paused. You've surrendered. But you've come to the conclusion that this person is just kind of obsessed with whatever they want to be obsessed with. You could feel that they're obsessed with you. You could feel like they're obsessed with the idea of maybe having you. Ooh, ouch. That could be a possibility, though. It could even be just obsessed and just telling their friends and family, you know what, I have this perfect person. Maybe they, maybe their friends and family see you as the perfect per uh, person for them. They know they screwed up, so now they want to try to make it look like you guys have the happy, the happy home, the happy this, the happy that, but it's all an illusion. Why would it be an illusion? Because we do have the Seven of Cups in reverse, so you could say it's all an illusion. It's not real. Our happy home and happy all of this is all bullshit. Right. It's an, it's what they want, you know, everybody to see. Um, right. But they don't really that's not reality. Right. So it's whatever they want to see. I, I don't know. For some of you, I feel like you feel like they kind of live in a fairy tale for some of you and what they think a relationship is. And you're saying that's not that's not reality. You can't just ignore me and go do whatever you want to do and then expect me to be here for you. Um, yeah, see, they want to make a marriage proposal. I told you that, though. They want you to step forward so that they can they can give you this ring. They can be engaged. They want to be engaged to you. They want to masquerade with you. But see, the masquerade ball. See, that's... What did I just say? What did I just say? Telling people they have the happy home, the best this, the best that, and you're saying that is not true. That is a false mask. We do not have all of that. You're masquerading around telling people, right... Making people believe we have these beautiful, you know, we have this beautiful relationship. That is not true. That is crazy. I just said that because of the Seven of Cups. It's all an illusion. But you're saying that is not reality. This person might, like, live in their head of what a relationship really is. And then going around telling people that they have great, you know, a great relationship with you. And you're like, we do not have a great relationship. See, saying you have change of heart and you might even think that this is a lot of weird, strange manipulation, um, right? And you don't want to make the wrong decision. So it almost feels like you're kind of hiding out a little bit at the hermit over here and isolating yourself away because maybe you know they want to propose to you. Maybe you can feel it. Maybe they've been saying things to you and you're being kind of like, I don't want to make the wrong decision. I don't want to be a part of this right now. So I'm 
what? Not taking the step forward. I am pulling my energy away. I am pulling away and staying away, right? See, because this is, it's like disguise. I'm, I'm sorry, for some of you, you know this person's like wearing a false mask to your friends and stuff, concealing what the relationship really is. So they're like, I want the happy home. I want that. And I'm not saying they don't want that. It's just that I feel like they're going out telling people that you guys have this victorious, beautiful relationship, right? And I'm going to give her this ring or I'm going to give him this ring or however it is. And I'm going to propose and everything. Oh, they're going to be fine. But it's not fine. Okay. If there's hidden truths to this situation, the hidden truth is this relationship is nowhere near ready for the white picket fence, the happy family, okay, or any of the above, or a ring on my finger, and those of you who are like, we're already married, okay, maybe they want to renew their vows, you know, your marriage vows, um, you know, and you're like, uh, we're ready for a divorce, I'm not ready for a ring, <laughs> or renewing anything, right, um, I'm, I'm, I just see this person, I'm sorry, you guys, I see this person kind of as delusional when it comes to this situation. Yeah, see, because even the loving kindness and realistic, I don't even know, that could be both of you. Maybe that's how you treat each other, like, yeah, I'm kind to him, <laughs> loving. Yeah, but I'm really, really realistic about the situation, you know. It's coming out sideways, like, maybe that's the whole real, maybe that's like the real scenario of the real, like, that is the real relationship, you know real relationship is we're kind when we need to be kind we're loving when we want to be loving and here's the realistic part of real you know get real right so it does feel like it's kind of weird though because it does feel like there might be somebody around you who wants to come in and be loyal and devo and devoted to you and they're kind of like reassuring you that everything's going to be okay they kind of clarify everything Right. They kind of identify with your situation. So you could have this other person that's coming in, male or female, it doesn't matter, who is just really on your side. Um, right. And they're just like, oh, my gosh, I totally know what you're talking about. Right. I, I totally see what's going on uh, within this situation. Let's grab some love cards over here. We'll see what spirit has to say about the situation. Yeah. Best message for them, please. worth waiting for is not even in it's like that's in reverse release your ex it's like not even worth waiting for anymore release your ex do not stay optimistic about this lover situation but you should have your friends help you now that's kind of crazy because that's what it reminds me of over here that's that's here where it's like yeah i i, I got your back i know exactly what you're talking about and even if we haven't 100 percent had the same you know i can still reassure you that i understand what's going on Yeah, this person wants to heal family issues. They want to keep, for some of you, you're married, and they want to continue to keep this marriage going. But don't be, you know, they see the red flags within the situation. I think that's why they're pushing to keep you. Yeah, they do see that. They do see the red flags. They do realize you're trying to get away, but we already knew that. They see you. They're waiting for you to step forward. They want you to step forward. They're waiting for this because they want to keep this happy marriage, this happy relationship going. They're trying their hardest to make an effort, but they notice that, you know what? It's like, mm, they want to make the effort. They want you to make the effort. It's like, you know, but are they really making the effort? You know, because then some of you would say, hmm. Sometimes he grabs me like that and he tells me that, but then most of the time that must be in his mind. I don't know why I have to say that, but. And for some of you, it's almost like they just want the, to forgive and, and forget and just kind of with the elephant in the room, just push it underneath the rug. Yeah, they just want to give this relationship a chance. They just want the change within the relationship. They want you to, they want you to, Continue to give them a chance. But it's kind of crazy because it's like, if they continue to take the chance, shouldn't they, if they're waiting for you to step forward, shouldn't they wait to, shouldn't they try to move forward? How come I feel like, for some of you, I feel like they're not 
they're like waiting for you to do something, but they're not doing shit. But then it says they're making the effort, but it's like, then it's kind of like making the effort to what? I don't know why it feels like maybe for some of you, they are making the effort. And then for others, you're like, Psh, they're only just waiting for me to step forward, but they're not doing anything. what this says over here. If I end the situation, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's really weird. It shows you guys still have, yeah, compatibility. I mean, you guys are still are compatible. It's just that you can't resolve the conflict. The, the conflict. There's like, you know, and I think that one tries to go forward to try to do so. The other one backs away. And then when the other one tries to come forward, the other one backs away. I think it just comes down to the point, though, it's like if one's been waiting too long, you know, then it just gets kind of lost, like, oh, I'm, I'm not waiting anymore. Hmm. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love, bye-bye.